hello everybody at home you welcome to my channel mom's mission um so today i'm going to be talking about something quite interesting so i happened to meet a couple recently who said that she and her husband they share one toothbrush and one bath sponge and she was trying to express how much they love each other she used that as an example and they have no problem doing that and um and i thought to myself that I don't think I can do something like that. I feel that's quite irritating. So I'm going to be asking um, another colleague of mine who is also a mom and a professional, a dental professional, to find out what they think. In addition to that, I am going to be talking to children to you know just hear that view. Say when they find out that their parents are sharing um, toothbrushes, and sponges how do they feel about that so this is going to be quite interesting actually and um, stay tuned to hear what they think do you want to see anything hello um for me i don't think it's really nice some people would like it as a sign of love but um it's a no-no for me i just think um, you should be able to have some personal items it's just because of the of the hygiene factor so do you think we can share one no, toothbrush no i don't think so except when maybe on, when there's an emergency but i don't really think it's something that we would like to do i think that's actually quite revolting to be we honest. can't set up to say because we want to show love that we're going to be doing uh, sharing brushes and and bath sponges no, so we are it's a definitely no no for us no it's a i think our children no. will be relieved to know that <laughs> we can't share a toothbrush and, and a sponge but like you said in an emergency like if um you know we happen to be on holiday or something you know and maybe somebody has even at that i have to make sure that i explore all other options and trying to look for um ways around it and let that be my final my last option so if there's no other option and my mouth is actually stinking that bad that's when i'm going to share a toothbrush so i don't think i'm going to do that otherwise and don't forget to comment down below what you think do you think you and your partner can share a toothbrush and a bath sponge hey guys my name is michael and i'm a dentist and i want to talk to you guys about the sharing of toothbrushes you know with loved ones now it's very common for family members loved ones especially spouses to share personal items like clothing like food you know and even cases right but what we don't want to share is toothbrush with anyone and for good reasons um one when we brush um the bristles on our toothbrush tend to attract and trap um food debris and microorganisms some of these microorganisms can be you know quite harmful now this microorganisms can get you know transferred to another person that uses the same toothbrush you know and causing you know different infections in such you know persons um, such as common cold you know even dental cavities uh, gum diseases and um, even throat infections you know secondly um, we also don't want to share toothbrushes because uh, some of us brush very vigorously and when we brush you know the um, toothbrush tends to cause um, uh, gums to bleed and when this happens you know blood-borne uh, bacteria can get transferred from the bristles of the toothbrush you know to another person that you know shares that toothbrush now some of these um, uh, risk can be quite serious right because you know in some instances you know it's been seen where you know uh, other persons contracted you know uh, hepatitis hiv you know from you know sharing the brushes you know of you know loved ones so i would strongly advise that we you know, practice safe, you know, um, hygiene and, you know, for the health and well-being of your loved ones, please um, make sure to not share toothbrushes. Thanks. I do not think couples should share toothbrushes because toothbrushes are meant to be hygiene products. So sharing toothbrushes 
actually means defeating the purpose. So I really don't think it's right. I'll give you an example. If a partner has maybe cavity and she or he shares the toothbrush with the other partner, the person would, there's a likelihood actually that the person will be transferring the bacteria that causes that cavity to the other party. So I really don't think it's right to share toothbrushes. And in terms of sharing um, bath sponges, I still hold the same view as well because it's also a hygiene product. So I don't think it's actually right to share it, except maybe in extreme cases, maybe in an emergency, maybe where the couple travels and maybe one part, the other one partner forgets he or his or her toothbrush at home or bath sponge at home. In that case, yes, maybe you can share, but otherwise I don't think it's advisable to do that. I'd rather not do it. Hello, everybody. So Joshua, yeah, I'm going to ask you a very nice question today. You're going to tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. So if you found out that daddy and mommy are using just one toothbrush and one bathing sponge you know that but that sponge you use in having your bath yeah do you think that's nice if you're both sharing it yeah uh, no <laughs> why because what if so, so the other person has flakies or something and you use that thing or uh, or Oh, it's people don't wash, uh, someone else doesn't wash their toothbrush or something. So, and, and then and you use it. So when you use it, what, what does that mean? Does that affect the person? Yes. <laughs> or they have some infection. Okay. Uh, so what could happen if we were sharing the same toothbrush? Uh, it'll be disgusting. Catch also. Mouth also, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Hi, David. Hi. So I want, I want to ask you a question, okay? Yeah. So um, if you found out that daddy and mommy are sharing one toothbrush and sharing one bathing sponge, what would you say? Uh, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> what makes uh, you say that? Because it's disgusting. You can't just say disgusting. It might be love, you know? Some it's, people might... Oh, that, that's just, just some strange love there. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, some people might say they love each other so much that they are willing to share one toothbrush. Well, that's, that's not love. That's diseases. Explain. What do you mean? Because it's unhygienic. If someone's just like finished having a shower, right? And then they use a sponge. And then the next person goes in and uses that exact same sponge. The sponge is still like going to have like bacteria on it from the last person. So how, how is that going to work? What, what are the health implications for sharing toothbrush? Is there any health reason? Uh, if someone has like an ulcer or something like that, and then the other person uses the same toothbrush, they can get it as well, so... Okay. So is that your argument? Yeah. But what about people who are married to each other? You know, like... He doesn't like Sometimes they give each other kisses and stuff, Yeah, you know? but like, that's different. Well, toothbrush, what makes toothbrush different? Because you use it to clean. You don't. When you kiss someone, you don't. You don't. You don't use that to clean your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> when you use a toothbrush, you use that to clean your mouth. So you use that to clean your mouth. Yeah. So by by that you can catch Disease. diseases. Okay. I've seen a couple actually would do it. In real life. In real life, people who are quite close to us, who who, who husband and wife share the same Disgusting. toothbrush. So which means your answer is what? No. Uh -oh. So it's definitely a thumbs down, huh? Yeah. Hello, Rhoda. Hello. So, Rhoda, I have a question for you. Um, if you heard that mom and dad were sharing one toothbrush and one baiting sponge, how would that make you feel? Um, disgusted and like, that's just romantic. That's bad. That's just honestly disgusting. Why is that? Why why is that not love? Why is it disgusting to you? Love. Yes. Love is not ulcers. Love is not diseases. Love is not things you can catch. You you can catch love, but it's not like catch like a disease. So, two brushes don't cost that much, like less than one pound. And so there's a sponges, a pack of sponge, four sponges for one pound. In like, if you want to get cheap, so you don't even need to like worry about if you kind of if it's about cost. That's disgusting. It's either like you give one person the toothbrush and the bath thingy 
the sponge and then the other person doesn't shower until they buy one because then you have to be that cheap to not afford like a sponge or like a toothbrush like okay so what if it's not about money what if it was about how they feel about each other you someone's using a thing with like uh, what is she brushing out like fibers or something like that and then you're brushing your teeth like getting all that disgusting lasagna that you ate yesterday <laughs> out of your mouth and then your wife picks it up and she's scrubbing the, the, the chilli from her teeth and then you'll leave it and then the next day you'll be using those disgusting this is a sound like it. imagine like picking up a toothbrush brushing your teeth all that disgusting plaque and gum that build up dirt and then somebody looking at you brushing your teeth with this intentionally using it to brush their teeth they've got something wrong <laughs> so we have a couple quite close to us who um i know i mean i think a couple of them actually who actually husband and wife who actually share the same toothbrush what do you think about that? I mean, knowing that we know people who actually do that. Look, that that goes, just goes to show that we should be thanking God. <laughs> Would you do what? <laughs> be thanking God. Would you be thanking God? Why should you be thanking God for that? Thanking God that we're not like them, that we don't think it's okay to intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually think it's funny? Intentionally is. Someone... No, I'm crying. <laughs> Imagine going to like a married couple's house and just seeing one toothbrush and then one sponge and then you're just like, who showers? <laughs> <laughs> who brushes their teeth? So is it, do you don't brush your teeth? And then they'll be like, oh no, we share. You just leave. You don't stay there. <laughs> <laughs> they probably use the same fork. <laughs> <laughs> probably the same, the same cup to drink <laughs> probably the same fork to eat the same plate they are licking it together because they love each oh, other no, 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 no. which means if they offer you a cup of tea you won't don't win. take it <laughs> so guys you've heard it all most people said no they would not um, share a toothbrush with their partners they actually find it quite disgusting even the children don't like it too so they actually think it's, it's revolting to you know to share toothbrushes with uh, other people so i want to hear what you think don't forget to comment below and don't forget to press that subscribe button so you can get our interesting topics when they come up thank you for watching bye